Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we will set up .NET with Visual Studio Code. I am Umair and you are watching my YouTube channel. First thing first, uh, what are the requirements for this video? So, we need Visual Studio Code plus we need .NET SDK. First of all, make sure that you have Visual Studio installed in your system. As you can see that here I have already installed Visual Studio Code. So, I am not going with this step. The next thing is .NET SDK. So we will write .NET SDK here in the Google. And you can see that this is first link download .NET SDK for Visual Studio. I will click on it. Now from here it is saying that .NET 7 preview. This will be the latest version that will be released in November. 2022. So as for now, we have this .NET 6 as stable version, long term supported. Okay, so we will download this one. I will uh, go with 64. It is downloading the file. Okay, here you can see that this file. Once this uh, file gets downloaded, uh, we will install it. Now you can see that and this file is almost complete, yes. This exe file has been downloaded successfully, now we will install it. But before doing that, I want to show you something. That if I go to my command prompt and I write here .net and you can see that uh, it is giving me a message that .net is not recognized. So it means that already I don't have .NET installed in my system. So I'm going to install it from scratch and then we will see that how it comes after installation. So I will uh, go to this folder and double click on this one. Okay, this is the installer that I have got. I will click on install. This is a very easy process, just you need to download the SDK and then install this one. Okay, you can see that the installation was successful. So we have got some important products in our system and that is SDK runtime, ASP.NET Core and Des Windows Desktop. Okay, so I can close this one and my .NET has been installed successfully. Let me go to my command prompt. Now here if I write .NET you can see that I am getting the options that what information I need from .NET. Why? Because .NET has been installed successfully. So if I write .NET minus info, okay, it is saying that command was wrong specified. I will clear this one. Once again, I will write .NET. Now you can see that this was double minus info. So I forgot that. Let me write it again. .NET minus minus info. Okay, now you can see that we have got the information that what we have installed until now. Okay, this is the variant 6.0.7. If you want to check out that whether you which SDK is installed in your system, you can use this command. And if you want to check which runtime have been installed, you can check out this command. Okay, so I will close this one and I will open my Visual Studio code. Okay, now before uh, doing anything here, I will create a folder. And I'll, uh, let us name this as .NET. Okay, so 
so now I will open this folder with Visual Studio Code now after the folder has been opened here we don't have any files here but before doing that what I need I need one thing more C sharp extension okay C sharp extension is necessary for .NET and C sharp code execution in Visual Studio Code. So I will install this one. Okay, now this has been installed. If I go to extensions and within installed list, you can see that we have C sharp here. Now I will go back to my folder and from here I will open my terminal. This terminal works similar as uh, your command prompt works or as your terminal in Linux works. It is a uh, command line. Okay, here I will write .NET new and I will just press enter. Okay, .NET new is a command that is used for uh, creating a project. Now you can see that after uh, that .NET new they have given me the information that which app you want to create web app, blazor server app, class library, console app, windows swarm, wp app ok so for now I am going with console app ok so I will write here dot net uh, sorry dot net new console ok Now a basic console app has been created here. Okay, if I open the file, you can see that we have program dot write line, and here it is showing that hello world. Okay, you will get this a notification. So always accept this one because it is going to install the required assets for C Sharp in our VR Studio code. Now, if I want to run this code, okay, this is a top level statement without any using statements. It has been introduced in .NET 6, so that's why we are giving, uh, we are having this one line code here. Now, if I go to my terminal again, clear the screen, and if I write .NET build, it will build my project. You can see that it is giving me build succeeded, zero warning, zero error. That's mean our code is working fine without any errors. So now I will run this one dot net run. Okay, now you can see that we have got the message hello world here. So now we have successfully installed dot net in our system and we have set up it with Visual Studio Code. I will repeat it again. You need .NET SDK that we installed here, this file, and after that you need C# -shop extension, this one, and lastly you need to know about .NET command line that how .NET commands works in terminal or command prompt or any command line. Okay, so that's all from my side. If this video helped you in any way then kindly share it and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you. Take care. Bye.